All right, guys. I gotta do something over here at the Mitsubishi lot. And that is, I gotta show you what's going on with Mitsubishi this week. End of month here, guys. We're looking to sell some more Mitsubishis. So don't mind my Nismo cap. I'll replace that with the rally yard on Monday. But look at this. We have coupons from Mitsubishi to get more cars out the door. See this? Look, you just gotta put your VIN there and we'll get you another $500 off. I wonder if that shows up backwards in the video. We'll find out. So I just wanna show you what we got here. This red standing out to me lately, that is the Eclipse Cross. It's kinda of nice and sporty. We've got a whole bunch more over here. We've got the burnt red, or the burnt orange. Silver, blacked out edition. Then we continue on with some more Outlanders. We've got a row of Outlanders, SE, an SEL with the PHEV option to it as well. So we're getting ready to sell a bunch of Mitsubishis. Okay, so half a grand right there. Boom, let's go. And every penny counts in these deals, guys. It's, it's just so crazy because it's like when, when we get online and you're going through our, our valleymitsubishi.com, right? Or uh, dash longmont.com, it's. Uh, you know those prices have to compete and and in this today's world that that's the way it's going so you might have heard like negotiation just goes out the window which is that's kind of true it, 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 it there's only so much a dealership can do for you in the modern era uh it, it costs us more to buy them i saw the wholesale chart and i send this out to all my service people the, the wholesale trajectory since just before COVID, and especially after, used car market just went crazy. It, it elevated the game. And so it's more expensive for us to buy wholesale, it's more expensive for you, and, and we don't sell crap. We put some really good quality work into it. We make sure it's up to snub before we sell it to you. If, it, if it's not gonna meet our standards, we send it to auction. So this is really like the best way to buy. Uh, and right now I'm, sh I'm showing you the new ones. So really, that's gonna get you the more life out of it, especially in a Mitsubishi, because it has one of the best warranty programs in all of the industry, okay? You get a 10 year, 100,000 mile warranty. So let's let's check this out, because I've been dying to look at this one for quite some time. Zoom, right there, Rally Art Edition, Outlander Sport. So I sold earlier today an Outlander Sport, and I was really impressed with it. It was not this 2023 though, and I wish it would have been because it's, you know, it brings back a lot of nostalgic memories to me from the 90s, watching Rally Cross and the fierce rivalry between Subaru and Mitsubishi. And that is where Mitsubishi draws all of their technology for, for their all wheel control. So this does have a rear differential to it. Uh, and I would just love to stick a turbo in this engine bay and I'll show you why, because there's plenty of space. So all you guys out there who have been dreaming of your Lancer Evo, just put that aside for a minute and let's go get on some All right, so here is the engine bay for the rally art. And I'm just gonna show you back here. We've got the intake to the filter to the engine, okay? And then exhaust coming back here. Could you imagine a turbo being on this four cylinder. I think there's enough space. It really would have some potential, especially if someone knows what they're doing here. So, I mean, there's even enough space up top underneath the hood. You could actually modify this quite significantly. However, I don't think you're going to need to because it is a lightweight vehicle. It is well designed. And uh, yeah, as far as getting you around town, it has a little bit of nostalgia to go so i only say that because i really love to follow the guys that like to get creative with an engine and and i find that engineering part of my brain loves to think on it and go what would i do if that said mitsubishi's put out a lot of trainings to us on the all-wheel control and the traction you know that traction control that comes along with it and the the 
things that they were able to build. These are the best in the world to do that. I mean, I, I can't imagine Mitsubishi hiring, you know, okay engineers when they have had one of the greatest legacies of all time in, in rally cross I, I think they've got some good history to go off of uh, let's just hop in here just to show you the space now so pretty average to down size with the utility uh, really kind of similar to the leaf I was just posting about in terms of space so you're gonna have a, a smaller car but still with a lot of utility still with space to get around and do things so this is the let's go out adventure mitsubishi have some sport on a back road okay this is this is theirs so let's turn this on all right so the first thing i'm noticing actually is i've just moved the seat all the way back i'm very comfortable where i'm sitting but i am sitting taller than i would in uh, a sports car so it still feels a bit like a utility to me which is great here's our welcome you can hear the purr there in the engine close the door here and I'll show you so the middle screen we definitely have all of our driving dynamics available to us and over here we've got all of our multimedia there we go we got some sports radio going there we have it good for a sports car just like we've been seeing in some other cars, heated seats, got your traction control off. Look at this. It's just a plug nowadays, but labeled for your 12 volt. Got all the climate controls here, still has the auto feature, recirculation, just as I like it. Media, we can choose which we want to go with. We plug in our phone. Voila display all that okay so here we go drive drive sport and low gears so we have the drive modes there uh, looks like we've got the powered windshield or what do we call this powered rear view mirror oh my gosh guys uh, funny thing about just extemporaneously speaking and not editing my videos you do get my personality you do get my mistakes but you know, at least you know I'm being straight with you and honest, and that's really the important value that I'm trying to get across with people in this in this channel is that you, you can work with me, and I'm going to be straight with you. So, uh, just going through the rest of this video, part of my ADHD brain, but I'm going to uh, catch up with this. So here's that four-wheel drive button. So that will put the four-wheel control on. You see the light came on up here in the corner. And we're gonna have all the usual controls on our, our lighting. And then again with rear and front windshield wipers. On the side here, we've got the forward collision warning and lane departure. Uh, those buttons will help turn those off and on. And just to rehash the traction control is over here. So I'm really loving the stitching in here. And you can see just how unique this is. Yeah. Let's good look around the cabin. Steering wheel is actually really quite ergonomically comfortable. And I love the dynamics in those that are still analog, but you know, still futures. Down here the parking brake has that same stitching on it so uh, shift knob kind of looks like a, uh, a baseball if you ask me I know a few good Japanese teams just coming back to the exterior here I wanted to show you the rally art highlights on the side also right there on the lower trim on the front to the side as well you've got the mud flaps in the back and then right there on the back bumper as well definitely comes with some classy sports look to it and guys I'm just I'm ready to go for a test drive 
uh, but let's save that for another day. So yeah, we're just uh, gonna wrap up the day. See the sun setting. Not sure if the camera's gonna catch this, but kind of pink sky up here. It's beautiful. So it's been a perfect day for Colorado. Uh, fall is coming, that's for sure. So something that's all wheel drive, we wanna be ready for the winter. We wanna get you ready for some fall colors, which is happening right now. So, you know, what better car to jump in and do that with than, than the Rally Art Outlander Sport? Go up to the mountain, find a back road, find a grove of aspen trees, go see Maroon Bells, go see Rocky Mountain National. Cruise around in something that's gonna give you the handling and control and the safety that you need without busting the bank. Plus you get all that cool nostalgia stuff. That's gonna be so cool. So jump on it, come see us, Valley Nissan and Mitsubishi in Longmont, Colorado. And of course you can get in touch with me through the links below.